So, yet another addendum. <laughs> the last video I was showing off, <laughs> pretty much showing off my base plate collection. Um, I finally got over to this corner over here and um, I realized that I forgot my bigger base plates. Um, so this is what I was talking about earlier when I uh, talked about cutting base plates. So these are 16 by 48 L length base plates. They are um, original dark, uh, light gray base plates cut up into three strips. And I did this uh, because we were doing layouts that were really, really huge. And we had a train track going around the outside of our space layouts. And the train track was for Jeff's big space train. And it was just easier to use these big, huge 16 by 48 base plates to basically uh, circumnavigate the layout. Uh, so I used lots of these. I made lots of these. I had lots of base plates. I even uh, cut up some Blay base plates. Um, so that's that, 16 by 48. I also cut up a few base plates, so they're 32 by 48. These are all blay, light blay, uh, and I made five of them. This is again for one layout that we did, um, where I it was. I think that was our uh, 10 foot by 18 foot layout, and it was just a lot of space where I didn't have crater plates, and I just used these guys uh, in lieu of 32 by 32 base plates. These are 32 by 48, and I just put a few of them in a row. Uh, that worked out well. And then I have basically original 48 by 48 base plates and gray. Uh, I got two in clear. I, this was an eBay lot that I got a million years ago. Um, where is my other one? I have two of them. And one of them actually still has something on it that I built. I would say seven years ago today <laughs> because here it is hidden all the way up there uh, it's kind of broken up since then but it's number four on a trans clear base plate for uh josh's fourth birthday <laughs> so we had this for his birthday party um i just haven't bothered taking part in the last seven years because or eight years because he's 12 today <laughs> yesterday we, we celebrated josh's 12th birthday yesterday so um so two trans clear 48 by 48 base plates cool to have uh glad i saw them in that ebay that one time um you know and so just having two of them is nice um lots of 48 by 48 uh light gray light blay um and in a purchase that shall not be named even though i think we can talk about it now i got a bunch of uh green base plates uh 48 by 48 again some blay and uh gray base plates um i think josh did this <laughs> i figured that out i take all those off and just sort them out um even some light blay still in the wrapper so this is from the lug bulk purchase um that which cannot be named and more dark gray, some are beat up. And then all the way in the back, we have some blue. And again, a few more green. And this on there. But you will notice, the keen eye will notice that this 48 by 48 is smaller than the base plate behind it. So when I was young, the base plates, let me just move this back so you can see. The base plates were 50 by 50. So you can see a row of two there, uh, studs there, and basically a row of two studs there. So in the 70s, the base plates were 50 by 50. I have two of them right now. I used to have a dozen, <laughs> at least a minimum a dozen. Now I was at a brick fet years ago, uh, and one of my friends who was into um, vintage Lego uh mentioned that um he was you know he, he was always looking for 50 by 50 base plates and they just take up space in my room uh i will never use them obviously because 48 by 48 works so well with the stud count and geometry for layouts space town train or otherwise 
that 50 by 50 don't factor into that. And I'm not gonna cut up a 50 by 50 when I got so many 48 by 48s that you can still get and cut them up. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna cut up any base plates unless it's really necessary anymore because I have all the parts that I want now. But, um, so I gave him like a dozen 50 by 50 base plates because I'm not gonna use them. They're just gonna sit here on a shelf. <laughs> so uh, here, here, Andre, have at it. Um, and so th they stay here. Um, I have two just because, you know, just to have two left. And I actually picked up one of them in a lot, not too long ago, like last year. So I kept one and I gave them the other 11 or 12, um, uh, years ago at BrickFet. And then when I bought a lot last year or the year before, I got another 50 by 50. So I'm back up to two of them. <laughs> I will never use them. That's perfectly fine. Um, so that's the addendum. Uh, I don't think I need to drag it out any more than uh, I have to. There was one time I was trying to teach Josh his times tables um, by using Lego and you know 1 through 12 and 1 through 12 and so 12 times 12 is 144 bricks and we can count them and now it's broken up a little bit. This is a couple years ago for his math. It worked okay for a couple of days to demonstrate, you know, one times tables, one, two, three, two times two, four, six, eight, all that stuff. Um, I, I keep it together because there's no need for me to take it apart. <laughs> but the parts, piece, parts and pieces keep on falling off. Um, so that's about it. That's all the base plates. Again, I have, it's really, really quick while we're here. So I have uh, these old castle base plates, two of the big ones. Uh, I'm not going to try to dig them out. This is another bin of eight by, or 16 by 32 gray. Uh, there, let me get up here. And all I have here is a bunch of eight by 16s and 16 by 16s and eight by 32s and other odd sizes. But um, those are all the base plates I have. And 